Hi everyone, I'm Neno Kitty Chan, and today we're gonna have a closer look at the Sailor Moon Sweeties Usagi Fruit Parlor figure by Mega House. So taking a quick look at her box first, it is ultra adorable, filled with multiple shades of pink, a big open window on the front, top, and side, glamour shots and close-ups on the back, and overall the design really gives me that feel of a decorative pastry box, definitely a parlor vibe as well with the striped border and polka dots. Now, although I could stare at this gorgeous box, I know I'm pretty eager, as you probably are, to get right into the figure herself. So her base is this super realistic glass looking dessert cup that is actually a very lightweight plastic, but being a smaller figure, it does seem to be perfect for her and surprisingly, it is very sturdy and balanced as a base. So having a first look at her, I'm already way more impressed with her than I was the last Sailor Moon figure I reviewed. Instead of having her in her Sailor Scout outfit, she is now in a lovely pink waitress outfit with a striped pink apron on the front of her that looks very much heart shaped on top. I also love the little ruffles they added around the sides of it, which only makes it even cuter. This time around, I also feel like they did a better job on her hair as it makes a smooth transition spiraling down from her yellow blonde to a translucent. Another great thing I noticed about this figure was the subtle moony detailing found in and around her outfit, such as her earrings that are reminiscent of the ones she wears in the original series, as well as the crescent moon placed on top of her spoonful of sugar. Though there are other details that I noticed as well, such as the fact that they took the time to paint her nails, pink of course. Though there are a lot of little details on her, I believe most of it lies in the fruit on the back of the figure. It looks so realistic while sitting there, the mandarins are all shiny and so juicy looking, while the strawberries even have little divots where the seeds would go. The only thing that could be detailed better is the inside parts of the strawberries, but while she's sitting on her base, it really isn't an issue because you can't see it. Same with the blue shading located on the top of her apron. I'd rather it not be there personally, it just seems to be a dark color for shading on a figure like this. For size comparison, I've placed her next to a game price figure of Yui and my Sakura Miku Nendroid. As you can see, she isn't too big of a figure and she's only a tad bit taller than a Nendroid. But for what she is, I overall really enjoy this figure. It doesn't happen a lot that a character gets an outfit that's more casual based, so I'm pretty glad this even exists. And wouldn't be opposed to the rest of the Sailor Scouts getting a figure with the same kind of design. So that is all for my Usagi Fruits Parlor figure review. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every week. And if you'd like to follow me on a more regular basis, I do have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same name here. Otherwise, don't forget to smile and I'll see you next time.